I don't even know why I'm covering her. Democratic Senator Kirsten Sinema of Arizona. His office is pushing back against criticism of her Friday vote to reject a $15 minimum wage bill, with the spokesman for the senator calling commentary on the way in which she cast her vote sexist. Sinema was among eight Democrats who voted against the legislation, which was sponsored by Senator Bernie Sanders, independent from Vermont in an effort to raise the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour. The Senate voted 58 to 42 against an attempt to waive a procedural objection against adding the wage provision to the $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief bill, which the Senate narrowly passed along party lines Saturday. Fellow Democratic lawmakers and others took the tour to condemn Sinema's vote, with Representative Mary Newman, a woman who apparently is sexist against other women, <laughs> retweeting a 2014 tweet from Sinema in which she wrote, a full-time minimum wage earner makes less than $16,000 a year. This one's a no-brainer. Tell Congress to hashtag raise the wage. So this lady, Newman, was pointing out that cinema less than seven years ago um, seemed to indicate support for raising the minimum wage. And then now as a member of the Senate who has a chance to make a difference in the minimum wage being increased on the federal level, she, uh, you know, decided not to do that. To be clear, her state, Arizona, overwhelmingly wants a $15 minimum wage. Okay, $15 an hour. Newman tweeted Friday evening. However, others comment on the way in which Cinema cast her vote. The Arizona senator walked up to the floor of the Senate and gave a thumbs down the common signal used by lawmakers to vote in opposition to a bill. While a thumbs up indicates support, some Twitter users focused specifically on Cinema's mannerisms, such as how she nodded her head down, dipped her shoulders, and bent her knees before standing back up and walking away. Others also focused on her clothes and handbag, claiming it indicated that the moderate Democrats were out of touch with Americans who supported an increased wage. Oh, and there's Rashida Tlaib saying, no one should ever be this happy to vote against uplifting people out of poverty. This is Senator Cinema voting no on $15 minimum wage. Hannah Hurley, a, spokesman, a spokesperson for Cinema, pushed back against his commentary, however, saying in a statement to the Huffington Post Friday evening, commentary about a female senator's body language, clothing, or physical demeanor does not belong in a serious media outlet. Hurley doubled down on her claims of sexism in a tweet le later Friday, repeating her statement to the Post and adding, I stand by what I said. So this is Cinema's office um, recognizing that people are pissed at her for not supporting the minimum wage. And it's like, I, I can't feel sorry for her because let's say she doesn't support it under any circumstance, right? If she had voted for it, it wouldn't have passed anyway. And she wouldn't be getting the criticism that the other uh, seven Demo clowns who voted against it, including Tester, who's the only one of them I liked prior to this, uh, are getting now. And, you know, unfortunately, when you're online or when you're a, a public figure, like with me, I'm not, I don't even get a hundred views per video, but I've had people mock my body language, clothing, demeanor, you know, these are the types of things that are going to happen to you. And I, I don't necessarily like those types of things because I think they distract from the message because everyone should be talking about, these are the eight democratic senators that voted this way. Um, to say that this stuff is only being focused on because you're a woman or to imply that that weird way in which you walked <laughs> was only focused on because you're a woman, I think is um, an attempt to use the gender shield. And it's like, you know, why can't they just say talking about her appearance or any of this other stuff is just irrelevant. It has nothing to do with what's being, what is actually the substantive issue here because that would be correct but they always have to go oh i have the triangle so people are picking on me <sighs> and again it's like you know this is the other thing right you deny people i've said before that a lot of people don't know the federal wage is a little bit over seven dollars um because in california it was my state it's been raised way past that but it's like you deny people a wage increase. They get upset with you in that little like 
upbeat way in which you did it. Like they're mocking the way you did it. And there people, you want people to feel bad for you because you're being talked about on the computer. We're, so we're supposed to feel bad for you because of the like harsh commentary people give on online, but we're not supposed to feel bad for all the people who won't be able to afford the things that they need during a pandemic. I'll, I'll show some empathy for you getting made fun of for doing this, uh, maybe around the time where you decide to actually help people, like give, giving them a, a wage increase for the first time in over 10 years. How about that?